Hello, I'm Greg Robinson, Program Director of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. I'm going to give you a short briefing today on the, the amazing science that we're going to get and the development status. And this is a follow-on to the Hubble Space Telescope, which has produced amazing science for over 30 years, and James Webb would be even more powerful. So as I mentioned, this is James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, it's a mission to seek uh, light from the first galaxies in the universe. That gives us a lot of information on how old the universe is, uh, how galaxies were formed, and some inference on how the universe or when it was actually started. That helps answer the question, uh, where did we come from? And we're gonna also uh, explore uh, other worlds and within the solar, our own solar system, uh, habitable planets. Uh, is it possible uh, to have life similar to Earth life on some of these other planets? That answers the other question, um, are we alone? There are thousands of astronomers, astronomers across the world uh, that will be doing science with James Webb. And uh, this is a NASA-led partnership with ESA, the European Space Agency, and CSA, the Canadian Space Agency. And who is James Webb? Uh, so James Webb was uh, our second NASA administrator. Uh, he played a major role in the uh, early uh, human spaceflight missions of uh, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. And he was a major player in some of the early science missions as well. So a couple of things I would talk about on this slide is, uh, uh, one is the size of the mirror itself. Hubble, 7.9 uh, foot um, mirrors and Webb is 21.3 feet. So if you could imagine the difference in size, it's tremendous. And of course, when you're doing astrophysics and you're looking back into deep space, you need really, really big telescopes uh, to do that. And you can see the size of, of Webb is uh, 72 feet and Hubble was 44 feet or is, um, but Webb is a lot lighter than, than Hubble because of a lot of the uh, scientific ingenuity and engineering and ingenuity and selecting certain types of materials and parts in the way that it's constructed. And of course, uh, Hubble, if you recall, we, we did multiple servicing missions to keep it going. It's in low Earth orbit and uh, Webb would be out at Lagrange Point 2, uh, L2, which is about a million miles from Earth. And of course, it's gonna be extremely cold, um, 370 degrees, um, below zero uh, Fahrenheit. So here's the telescope again. Uh, uh, the primary features in addition to the telescope, uh, we have some amazingly uh, scientific instruments, uh, more powerful than we've ever built. And they're gonna take that, that light that the telescope actually collects uh, from the primary mirror, transfer it to the secondary mirror, which uh, will take that information into the inside of the spacecraft, into the instruments. And that's where the science is actually um, uh, calibrated there, and we'll get those images back here on Earth. So we're going to fly on an Ariane 5 rocket. Uh, I mentioned that ESA is a partner of the European Space Agency, and, and, and they're providing the actual rocket. We're going to launch from South America, French Guiana. Uh, the launch site uh, is in Kourou, uh, French Guiana. And again, that's October of 2021. We're looking forward to that. This is your telescope an engineering marvel, an exploration powerhouse. Use it to look back in time and explore the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, to peer into atmospheres of planets orbiting the stars. It's your eyepiece to the uncharted, unknown, and unimagined. This is the largest, most complex, and challenging space telescope ever constructed. It will change our understanding of the universe and our place in it. The James Webb Space Telescope. Equipped with the largest primary mirror ever to be flown in space, at six and a half meters, it's more than six times the size of the Hubble Space Telescope primary mirror. Webb's four cutting edge infrared instruments and cameras operate at super cold temperatures. Temperatures colder than the surface of Pluto. Getting this cold 
is done with the help of the largest sun shield ever flown. A five layer, tennis court sized sun shield that blocks heat from the sun, earth, and moon. Webb will be the first telescope to detect light from the most distant galaxies in the universe. These first galaxies formed about 13 and a half billion years ago, only 300 or so million years after the Big Bang. Webb carries advanced technologies to tackle some of the most fundamental questions about the universe. How did the first galaxies form and evolve? Are there chemical signatures of the building blocks of life on other worlds? Is our solar system unique? Launching such a large telescope into space is an incredible engineering challenge. Fully deployed, Webb is too large to fit inside any rocket fairing. Engineers designed it to be folded, like origami, to squeeze inside the European Space Agency's 5-meter diameter Ariane 5 rocket fairing. After launch, controllers on the ground deploy Webb remotely. Deployment is an intricate ballet. For nearly three weeks, controllers carefully unfold Webb. After this delicate dance, Webb's golden mirrors are precisely aligned using motors behind each hexagonal mirror segment, adjusting them to form one perfect mirror. Once the instruments are fully cooled, the exploration will begin. Webb is a technological challenge like no other, born of the efforts of thousands of people across the United States, Canada, and Europe. The James Webb Space Telescope is your telescope. Use it to explore, to challenge theories, to see sights yet unseen. It's yours to unfold the beauty and mystery in the universe and our place in it.